look at this. Making a video on a Sunday. What does life come to? Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Dialogue Sweet Lake Tactics. So we've got a little bit of information on the collaboration event that is supposed to be coming. I think it's at the end of this month. Uh, I don't really know exactly when it's coming. But they've put a sneak peek over on their official Facebook page. So we're going to go check that out. And usually when they give us a sneak peek, that tends to indicate that something's coming like this next week, this next patch cycle. And we're going into a major patch cycle on Thursday. We still don't know who that hero is yet. Those sneak peeks usually come out tomorrow, being Monday before the patch. But I thought I'd make this video. Let's dive into it. Uh, let's uh, go over what we know and then we can kind of talk from there. So, we all kind of knew that the new hero was going to be Matoko. So, let me get my face out of here. So, you can see this is likely going to be the character model that we have in-game. Now, someone explain to me the physics of how these genes stay up in a battle. That's, that's the first thing I want to talk about. That's the, that's the elephant in the room that I got to address. I'm not saying I don't like it, because I do. But I have no idea how those things just don't end up around her boots as soon as she starts moving. Okay, so this this is the character model. Uh, this is the Matoko from, again, if you guys aren't familiar with Ghost and Shell, which I have been for a long time. Uh, go check out the original anime. But this is from a new anime called Ghost and Shell 2045. I don't like this look. Um, perhaps I'll find uh, a picture of the original and we'll, we'll look at it later. But let me, uh, let me bring my face back in here. This is the first character that we're getting, and this is the first sneak peek of uh, really anything to do with the collaboration event in Internal Evolution. So let's go over what they got to say. So, and there's some, so there's some pretty cool things in here. So greetings, commanders, uh, collab hero sneak peek. Exciting news for all Eternal Evolution players that, that it is, I will agree. Get ready to welcome Matoko. Oh, I'm going to butcher this. Uh, Kusanagi. Matoko Kusanagi. To our ranks. Uh, here's a little sneak peek at Matoko. Uh, her skills. Can you guess the rest of her skills? Not guess. Well, no. Not guessing. Uh, but uh, Matoko can teleport behind the target and perform bullet axle several times to deal damage to multiple targets. Because, yes, this hero is a, a more of a firearms specialist. If you've seen the shows, she's all about her guns. Uh, during the bullet axle, she is immune to crowd control effects. Okay. And I'll, I'll read this, and then we'll, then we'll go into what i got to discuss, or what we can discuss about this. So, Hero Faction. This is really cool. New Faction. She's a time traveler. That could be anything. They could put anything into this faction. And if they're going to expand on this faction, I think that that is much needed and uh, amazing, but... You know they got to they got to fill out <clears throat> some of these other factions first. Like I would argue that, hmm. Well, I don't know, because really they can do anything. You know, it's really about classes, not about factions, except for faction mind. That's really the only place that it matters. So cool, we got a new faction called Time Traveler. Hero class, yes, yes. This is another assassin. It's an SSS, and her hero overview is teleportation, which is uh, part and parcel for assassins. Crit damage, which, yeah, we, we kind of get that. It's an assassin, going to be one high of high crit, high crit damage. Although, since it doesn't say, you know, critical strikes or whatever, maybe this is more like a, a record where uh, she's going to rely on the crit rate of her, uh, the uh, uh, other heroes or other assassins on the field. So you can recruit Matoko uh, during the collaboration recruitment event when it goes live. Again, no idea when. Be sure to share with us your thoughts. Now, this this phrase right here, it's, it's very explicit. It says you can recruit her during our collaboration recruitment. I went back and looked at the other sneak peeks, and they always said you can recruit such and such hero during the upcoming limited recruitment event, which tells me quite plainly that this is going to be a separate event that you have to pull. Probably, since it's an SSS, it's going to be limited tickets. So, they... If, that And that poses a problem to a lot of people that don't have a plethora, let's say, of limited tickets just 
casually lying around because we do know that in two weeks another hero is coming to the game now if they were to say stagger the collaboration banner in between new releases so you don't know you don't know normally when we have like a giant tower that would cushion the blow of uh, us having to spend our limited tickets but you know that's not what they're gonna do <laughs> you know that is not what they're gonna do they want you to go out there and buy more limited tickets if you want this hero now that said, uh, let's let's address uh, the second elephant in the room. Uh, the uh, I don't know the smaller one maybe. Hero class assassin, yes, another assassin. Um, she sounds a lot like Alentis. Um, you know, instead of Alentis does her little needle storm, she does a bullet axle. Now, if she stays on the opposite side of the field, then. What we can do is she's going to basically replace Bailey on a assassin team. Because Helentis, great for PvP, not so great for PvE because she's already, she's bouncing all over the place. And she, uh, the fact that she's a ranged assassin makes it uh, so that uh, her, her Rickard's sword souls don't really function properly on her. Because she has to be in melee range for a sword sword to work. Or a sword soul to work. So, I'm assuming we'll find out. I'm just, well, I'm just kind of guessing that this hero is probably going to replace Bailey because Bailey's damage is kind of fallen off and has definitely been power crept with new mechanics in the game. So very, very cool. Faction Time Traveler. That's interesting. Hero Class Assassin. Okay. Collaboration Recruitment. Um, so it says Collaboration Recruitment Event. So what, event, what are they going to give us? What new event are they going to build in game? That allows us to get this hero. Just whatever it is, make it cool. Just make it cool. So Matoko, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, that is it. Sneak peek of our new hero, Matoko. And I'm not saying the last name. I want to address the first elephant in the room again, these pants. I do love the denim. That is not really Ghost in the Shell appropriate in my opinion. Uh, not, well doesn't fit in my opinion to the original ghost in the shell which let's go let's go look at some let's go look at some original stuff I'll show you what I'm talking about um, first let's make this let's get my zoom back okay there we go uh, da, da, da. ghost in the shell I'll show you what what I picture when I picture um, this hero, well, you know, here's here's the Scarlett Johansson from the movie, which I enjoyed that movie too. This movie was a somewhat faithful representation of the original anime. This was the original anime, right here. And this was, oh, this was the movie cover with Scarlett. I hope we get this guy. Bato? Bato's a beast. Give us Bato, please. Make him a hunter, though. We need more hunters. So, let's go back. Back. Oh, yeah. Again. Really, really cool. That's from the movie. Um, I don't know what this is. This... I don't know. Yeah, this is just a new movie. Again, this is more of the style that we're getting. I don't know when that was. Get out of here. What else? Where else? Where else? Where else? Not a whole lot of images from the original anime that I can see. What if I put in anime here? What's it going to give us? No. Nope. Not not a whole lot of images from the original. This kind of this kind of looks like it in a way, yeah, something like that. Anyway, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time on this Sunday morning. So that's it. Uh, the sneak peek to the first hero that we're gonna get in the upcoming collaboration event with Ghost in a Shell 2045. Hopefully, uh, there'll be three of them, because it seems like that 
kind of typical for collaboration events. If anything, you know, give us hers and assassin. Give us a skin. That'd be cool to just slap on, like, a skin onto Pandemonium. I know in the original anime there was a big, like, mech at the end. Give us that, like, mech skin uh, for Pandemonium. That'd be cool. Um, I would also l think that it's... Uh, but then again, I would like Bato, and I would like... I don't remember the villain's name from the original anime. But he was like kind of like uh, an earlier uh, iteration of what Matoko eventually was, like the cyborg body. He was like the original, and he was also her boyfriend. I do believe he was her boyfriend, and they were both experimented on. Anyways, that's aside. It's coming. There's the sneak peek. Tell me what you think down below. Um, until next time, guys. Cheers, peace. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh!